All righty. I I every day is just going to be T. Every day is going to be T. I'm sorry. Okay. Just assume every day's construction update is going to be packed. As you can see already in front of you on the screen, Snoopy's Racing Railways station is going up. It's going to be a gorgeous red stained or like, you know, that auburn stained wood by Timber Kits. Again, you can't go wrong with Timber Kits. It's absolutely stunning. The launch sheds foundations are in. The footings for that first turn out of the launch are just drying. That's why they're covered in the orange tarp there because tomorrow is going to be raining all day. Um, and this ride's going to go up really quick now. Tundra Twister was loading its little, I don't know what you want to call that, the connector piece to the motor that'll spin the, the two stems that are connected to the gondolas. The gondola connectors were installed on that piece, if you zoom in really closely there, right in front of that truck's flatbed. Um, uh, you'll see that they have the connectors for the gondolas. In this update, you're actually going to see them move that into the park and start connecting it to the motors, which will then lift in place. Depending on the, wind, uh, the weather and the wind tomorrow, they should install that piece. If not, it'll be Friday. Um, the weather is delaying them ever so slightly. The paint job on Vortex is coming along really nicely. If you look really close, the supports are getting that beautiful gray. I'm going to get you another angle in a bit too, but you can see the painters in there. They're working. Um, I was going to hold this information off to the podcast, but you know what? I'm feeling generous. Um, from what I'm hearing through the rumblings, <laughs> Behemoth will be receiving its paint job in 2024. Same time Vortex is receiving its right now, uh, Behemoth will be getting it. So I'm pretty confident in saying that I feel confident um, enough to say that this channel's prediction is that Behemoth will get its paint job in spring 2024. Um, or the end of this season, 2023, for next season. Um, nonetheless, as you can see, the part was moved in. Clockworks got installed really quickly. If you remember my update yesterday, it did not look like that, and now it looks like that. <laughs> um, so yeah, the park's maintenance team is really, really strong, because when you compare this to other parks that take like three days to get one train on the track, looking at you, Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, and Kings Dominion, um, Wonderland's maintenance team is really trained well or just really good at their job um, because uh, Vortex had two trains installed in a day, if you remember that, back in, like a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago, and then Clockworks. But yeah, here's Tundra Twister's little, you know, thing that they're going to attach to those two motors down there on the ground. You see that little slit? That's where that's going to go into, those two little cylinder um, auburn, like rust color, brown color motors on the ground there right in front of it. It's going to connect to that, and they're going to install that piece either tomorrow, depending on weather, or Friday, or Thursday or Friday. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for that. Obviously, I will not be able to fly the drone in um, a thunderstorm, So, um, and I don't think they'll be able to operate the crane in a thunderstorm, but we'll see. We'll see. I've seen crazier things happen at Wonderland. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. Honestly, Like, I can't wait. I was talking about it today with Surya while we were sitting in the car, um, just waiting to see if they were going to install this piece tonight or not. And it's going to be really exciting to see this thing testing, like from the drone in person, like it's, it's going to be really cool. So I'm super excited about Tundra Twister. I know you guys know that, um, but ah, I'm just, I'm just super excited. Vortex is going to look really good. Behemoth is going to go look good next season. We got, we got a bunch of new haunted houses. Like Cedar Fair is really throwing money at this park. And just from what I know about our future, like 2025 and you know how there's gonna be about 10 to $15 million every season being invested in the park now. I'm just super excited. Like it's it's crazy that the amount of money Wonderland's gonna be receiving. Here is the pump house in Splashworks. Um, looking, you know, very, very new. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is the I'm about to pack up. You can't see the piece, but this was them kind of folding down the, the crane now for Tundra Twister. Um, and uh, yeah, they should move forward again. It's, it all depends on weather. And I, sometimes the construction team does work in heavy rain. I have seen them do that. Actually, I think it was the last rainstorm we had. They worked. So on Tundra, it's weird because Snoopy's will take a break. Um, with weather, but Tundra won't. And Tundra, uh, the construction team for Tundra works on weekends now, Saturday, too, Saturdays and Sundays. Um, this is just uh, looking at the supports um, and Vortex to get you a different angle of it. 
Um, and then you're gonna see Yukon trains. There's Yukon Strikers trains, you know, all put back together, ready to go. Um, this ride will be running this weekend, should be running this weekend. Um, and, uh, you know, depending on weather tomorrow, it should be cycling tomorrow too. Um, but yeah, super excited. Hopefully you enjoyed today's update. Comment down below if you have any questions and have a great week, guys. Bye.